So we've got kind of a camcorder style, we've got the compact style, we've got obviously the GoPros. Probably popped into your mind thinking that oh, his footage is going to be better than mine just because of the camera that he's got. And that's not actually the case. The most important thing when you shoot and filming anything is what's in front of the camera. That's the most important thing. Second most important thing is who's behind the camera. The third most important thing is that the camera that you're using, you've got it set up to capture that footage as best you can. is when you've done your edit, you're not using um, the, you know, the kind of real cheesy transitions, like yeah, things yeah. flipping over and stuff. Oh, the colour on that's beautiful. Hi guys, so it's my video diary, uh, day two. I uh, just wanted to tell you guys a bit about what we were doing on the course today. Started off first thing this morning with a checkout dive, uh, which was basically just to get to know the local reef area. Uh, there's a large bay here. Coral starts maybe five, ten meters offshore. Uh, drops off slowly to about 10, 15, 20 meters, uh, and then there's a bit of a, a drop off after that, uh, getting quite a bit deeper, uh, down to about 40 or so. Our checkout dive was just to get to know the local, uh, the local reef before we went back in with cameras later on in the day. Uh, so we. Sort of had an idea of where stuff was. And then we came back, uh, had a, our first classroom session. David was teaching us about uh, camera settings uh, and all the manual settings, adjusting your aperture and ISO, shutter speeds, uh, what frame rates to film in, and then got to put it to use straight away on our second dive. Um, so the second dive was actually my first dive with my new uh, camera system. Um, which I'll just show you quickly now. So this is my new uh, camera. Um, I'll just show you quickly. So this is a uh, Sony AX100 in a Gates housing. Um, Gates are one of the top housing manufacturers for video cameras. Um, they make housings for everything basically from this all the way up to red uh, cinema cameras and uh, top-end Sony uh, cameras so they're a, a very very good brand very well made um, housing it has all the uh, controls on the back here uh, for all of your manual settings also has the screen uh, in the back there uh, so you can see what it is that you're filming I've also got uh, some video arms which go on the sides as well. Um, some quite powerful video lights. And then finally a, uh, a white balance slate, which I can use to just uh, balance the colors uh, of the video while I'm taking it underwater. So that's the housing. This afternoon, we did our first dive with the cameras um, and I was uh, buddied up with Dan. Uh, Dan's also got a new camera, a um, new GoPro Hero 5 uh, with some good video lights as well so he was just learning uh, all the settings on that I was learning how to uh, get the best out of the settings on my camera having a quick practice getting used to the cameras got a few good shots from today um, visibility wasn't great but we still managed to get some some closer up uh, shots uh, of various marine life uh, a lionfish um, which we managed to get quite close to um, and get a good uh, in focus close up shot of that. There's also a couple of large schools of fish uh, we saw going past and just some of the uh, the nice reef and a little stingray as well uh, just right up near the surface uh, towards the end of the dive. Came back uh, and had our second uh, session, um, classroom session with David and this was to do with managing uh, all your footage. Uh, once you uh, have taken the footage underwater, get back on land, get the footage out onto your laptop store it on your hard drive and just talking about the best ways to store the footage how to organize it all so that once you come back uh, to your editing later on 
you know where all your certain shots uh, of different animals, different creatures are, uh, and you can access them easily. It makes your editing process uh, a lot quicker. That was all of the, um, the course for the day. Uh, so this evening was then just uh, relaxing, going through some of the footage. Got another action-packed day tomorrow with uh, another dive, another classroom session. So I'll catch up again with you guys tomorrow night and tell you a bit more about what we get up to tomorrow. Good night. That's good.